We're gonna hang our chickens right in front of us. I'm gonna put my cubby back right here. Now my goal is when they come out of the water, it'll snap a photo and with the attack, it's got the video on it as well. So I'm hoping that I'll not only get a picture of the big gator, but hopefully video as I shoot him. Now that we got the chicken all set, we're gonna try something completely different for gator hunting. We've got the chicken hanging over the water, but we're gonna sit in a tree stand way up in the tree, and that way we can come and see these gators as they come hit this bait. I've got a cutty back set up to try to get them as it happens, and well, this is gonna be something totally different. The biggest thing is don't drop anything out of the tree stand because it's gonna hit water and you're not getting it back. That includes me. I don't want to fall in and be the next gator bait because if it's me or this chicken, I hope I don't smell as bad as the chicken, bud. And the chicken. Yeah, you're hot, man. Oh, man, they are wow. Now I've been lucky enough to take a beautiful gator in South Carolina with my bow, a giant with my rifle, and now I came down to Louisiana and got a huge monster on a hook. This was one of the most fun hunts, and it is pretty intense when you pull up on that tree and see that big old mouth under there and knowing that you have got a huge gator on the line. In fact, this guy, he could have got in our boat at any second. Talk about super intense hunting, and uh, you don't have a very big area to shoot, so things can get pretty crazy, but a giant gator in the end, and we have got a lot of gator meat on this guy. <laughs> 